Ladies and gentlemen, this super fight is an all-American welterweight battle. And first to the glory ring. This man began his pro martial arts career in 2006, but tonight will make his kickboxing debut. Here is Brian Foster. Twenty-nine-year-old Brian Two-Face Foster went three and two in the UFC octagon, but left that organization back in 2010 because he had to take a year out for medical reasons. Is making his kickboxing debut tonight. His 18-pound weight cut, the biggest of his career, and he struggled on the scale, but did make weight on his second attempt. I'm curious to see his skill set. I know he's a great striker in MMA, and it's awesome seeing fighters coming over from other disciplines, especially MMA fighters, karate fighters, boxing fighters. That's the beauty of glory. We're going to find out who the best stand-up fighter on the planet is. When 19 and 6 in MMA, this is his kickboxing debut. His opponent competed in Taekwondo championships in Serbia. Tonight, he puts his unblemished kickboxing record on the line. Here is Raymond Daniels. 33-year-old Raymond, the real deal Daniels, hailing out of Long Beach, California. Suffered an Achilles tendon rupture in his left foot in June of 2012 playing a pickup basketball game. This is his first fight back. American fans might know him from his run in Chuck Norris's World Combat League where he scored 17 wins overall with nine by way of knockout. Known for being extremely flamboyant, he's stopped numerous opponents with jumping, spinning back kicks. And if he could pull similar things off in glory, he is going to become one of the organization's mega stars. Well, he is the real life karate kid. He grew up, again, another guy who trains with his father. His father got him in martial arts. I can relate to that with the Rufus family. Uh, all five of my brothers train martial arts. It's awesome. And, it, you know, this is a, a child prodigy. And we can let's see if he can make a transfer into the kickboxing world. As we look at the tail of the tape, a big reach advantage for Daniels, and again, a huge edge in overall kickboxing experience for the real deal, who started training at five years old when his black belt father began teaching him in the art of Kempo Karate. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this welterweight battle scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Let's meet the fighters. Introducing first, standing on my right and fighting out of the black corner. As we mentioned tonight, he makes his kickboxing debut. Standing 5 feet 10 inches tall, 1.78 meters. He weighed in at an even 170 pounds, 77 kilograms. Representing the United States of America, fighting out of Granite City, Illinois. Ladies and gentlemen, Brian. Two-Face Foster! His opponent, opposite the ring and fighting out of the white corner, competed around the world as a karate black belt, as a kickboxer, an unblemished 23-0, making his glory debut tonight. Standing six feet, two inches tall, 1.88 meters, and weighing in an even 167, 75.7 kilograms, he too represents the United States of America. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the real deal. Raymond Daniels! Your referee in charge of this contest is Chris Wagner. Hey, gentlemen, you got your instructions in the dressing room on a nice, clean fight. Obey my commands at all times. In case of a knockdown, you go to the neutral corner I tell you to go to. Remain until I call you out. Any questions over here? Any questions over Sorry. here? Fight fair, fight hard. Brian Foster started training in 2006 after the death of his younger brother Brendan left him a very angry individual he feels that martial arts training and the physical stress of training has canceled out the emotional pain caused by his brother's death Ray Daniels again after a long injury layoff makes his return to competition looking to wow the crowd as he put it in the fighter meeting Raymond. Ready? 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 Fight! 
the bell and we are underway. Brian Foster in the black gloves, Raymond Daniels in the white gloves. Three Freeman rounds in the glory stop, stop, stop. welterweight division. Fight. There's a spinning back kick already by Daniels. He's got like a Prince Nassim Hamed style of kickboxing. Fighting out of the southpaw stance. Now Foster just trying to swarm him. With wide looping punches, sidekick by Foster, but Daniels is on his bike. His style comes from uh, point karate, open point karate here in America. That's why he has a little bit more of a unique style. The whole style is to hit and not get hit, score the first point, and he's good at just being evasive. Nice back kick, back kick by side. Daniels, but Foster comes forward with a body attack. He has Daniels' background very similar to that of former UFC champion Lyoto Machida. Counter right hand by Foster. Lead right hand by Daniels. Sometimes uh, a, guy, a guy like Foster, he's so used to orthodox fighters, you, you face a guy who's unorthodox like Daniels, it's going to be hard to settle in and fight him. You know, where do you find sparring like a guy like, like him? Foster yeah. told us that he feels that Daniels will back up, and that's what will, will get him in trouble. Foster at a five-week camp. He's still acclimating himself to counter kicks. Feels that his footwork will be key. Stop. That's it. Take a deep and he told us he was going to be aggressive, and so far an aggressive start. Yes. Again, a spinning back kick there by Daniels, followed up by a side kick. Lead right hand by Foster. Faint by Daniels. A lot of potential with Daniels' style. If he could get better at boxing, he's going to be a superstar. But Foster sport. has to be very careful coming forward with those looping punches, leaving his face exposed. That's what Daniels is trying to do. He, he baits you and he frustrates you a lot like Loyola Machida to make you reach, and when you reach, he's going to catch you with something. Final minute of the opening round. Inside leg kick by Foster. Again, that spinning hook kick by Daniels knocks Foster down. And immediately a mouse on the point of contact. He does not look steady on his feet, and Raymond Daniels, after a long layoff, spoils the kickboxing debut of Brian Foster. Daniels remains perfect, improving to 24-0 with his 14th win inside the distance. Well, that's martial arts. You can never count someone out who's skilled in a lot of different disciplines. If you're not skilled at the defense of that discipline, that's how you get beat by it. That's a spin kick. He wanted to bring the wow factor, and he brought it with a flashy kick to close the show here in the opening round. No ring rust whatsoever. No, I, I, I'm very impressed with this fighter. I, I think uh, he has a big future here in Gore. He's going to give guys a hard time. So we've already seen some impressive finishes here in the Glory Superfight Series. A good sign of sportsmanship, but there it is. Spinning heel kick. And what he did at the end was very technical. He brings the heel right around at the last second, and that's what caused the jarring to knock him out. He snapped, the, he snapped it, and there it was. That's how you knock someone out. You snap. And he also made it look like a back fist and a back back spinning hook kick so yeah he, he couldn't tell if it was a hook kick or if it was a spinning back fist on that and again right on the temple and he hooked the foot through which causes that KO so a superlative finish adding another highlight reel to the career of Raymond the real deal Daniels making a very impressive debut in the glory welterweight division Let's go to Tim Hughes to make it official. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you watched it as it happened. We have an official time of 2 minutes, 24 seconds of that very first round. This one ruled a technical knockout. For your winner, Raymond Real Deal Daniels. All right, Raymond Daniels, very impressive. You told us yesterday in the fighters' meetings that you are going to break out the spinning heel kick. That's exactly what you did. Take us through the end of that fight. Uh, well, uh, uh, first, I'd like to give it up to God, God over all things, but I think my coaches, Ramon and, and Colin, they helped me out. Uh, 
through my uh, neuro-linguistic programming, I can picture myself and I try and picture things happening before they happen. And now it's just about going out and do what my mind already perceived and going out and let the body do what it does best. You were out for almost two years after you suffered a torn Achilles tendon. I know that was tough for you. Does it make this win even more special when you're not in the ring and you have to sit there and wait and then you come in here and get it done tonight? Uh, yeah, you know, God has a plan for everybody. It was a very humbling experience for me. So over the last uh, couple years, I've, I've felt like this caged lion and glory has given me the opportunity to step outside of that cage and accomplish greatness. So i like to bring the show to glory. I thank all the promoters uh, for giving me this opportunity. Raymond Daniels, you're a living legend in the karate world, but I think you just put the entire kickboxing world on alert. Enjoy this victory. Give it up, Chicago, for Raymond Daniels.